Hey guys, it's Brittany Blake and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an unboxing, kind of, but mostly a review and try on from the website Heroes Time. If you guys are not familiar with Heroes Time, they are a cosplay, mostly specializing in spandex suits, but they do do other costumes. But they were nice enough to send me a costume to try on and review for you guys. And we will get to that in a minute. I wanted to go into my little history with Heroes Time first. I have been purchasing from Heroes Time for quite some time. This is my first time working with them. Um, my first cosplay I purchased from them was Silk about three years ago. Kind of an issue, but not really. It was more my fault. I got Silk in an extra small and over time and where the fingers started to like split at the seams, but I think that was because the costume was a little small on me. Also like the back didn't like fit to my body. I think it was just too small and was pulling so it looked like I had no shape, you know what I mean? It just was like a flat surface. My next costume from them was my Shigo. Um, I ended up getting just a small the next time around and that fit me great. I also had the gloves detachable so they weren't being pulled on. Um, having the gloves detachable was great because the seams didn't rip and I could also use my phone. And then I also got um, Rogue from X-Men, the one with her cape. Um, same thing, got that in a small, the gloves are detachable. They are, they're really good, they have, so they go from size extra small to I believe XL or 2X, but they also have a custom, um, custom sizing. You can also order uh, like custom pieces to have like, you know, things attachable or extra zippers. Um, their pricing is pretty good. I, I believe most of their suits, like the, the less detailed ones are as low as maybe 40 and they can go up to, I think the average is like, I don't know, between 60 and 90 and they can go up. Like I said, they do have non-spandex suits, but um, there, I haven't I haven't had any experience with those. They have male and female sizing, and this is new. I didn't realize it until I got this costume. But they also offer the fit to be tight, normal, or loose. Um, I ended up getting this particular costume in normal. So without further ado, we were going to get right into this. My costume that I ordered is Domino from. Marvel, specifically her new costume. As you can see, this is like a sub dye suit. There's detail and shadowing. Um, I also requested that the gloves be detachable. I got this in a size small, normal fit, um, and they ship super fast. Their shipping has always been incredibly fast. Um, they do offer, I don't know if they have overnight, but they do have like express shipping, which is a little more expensive, but. Um, I always feel like I always get my costumes within a week, but I guess if you're in a rush and you don't want to jinx it, I understand that. That's another thing I, I meant I wanted to mention. They also offer um, regular fabric and then the extra thick, uh, I guess, extra quality fabric. I just got the basic fabric, and this seems to be very nice and high quality and much better than something you might find on like AliExpress or something or like a cheap, uh, cheaper site. Um, they also offer. Um, they always have deals and uh, like they'll have certain costumes going on sale and they'll have free shipping every once in a while. So it's they always have good deals going on. So let's get into the actual costume. As I mentioned, this is Domino. I'll put a little picture up to show you what the costume and the character looks like. The uh, costume goes all the way down and there's kind of like painted on or dyed on boots. Um, it has an invisible zipper down the back and doesn't seem to snag or pull or anything. As I mentioned, the gloves, these, these look great. Um, they usually fit pretty well. Yeah, not that bad. So, I believe this cosplay is, I wanna say like $85, maybe it's $80. It's definitely in that 80, that 75 to 90 dollar range. I don't know what else I can say about this other than let's just try it on. We'll uh, show you how it looks. So first thing is obviously it fits me really well. I got this in a size women's small. I am 
roughly 5'1". And this fits me perfectly. It has a little bit more give, but I also feel like it might fit someone a little smaller than me. My boyfriend actually pointed this out, the shadowing around the butt cheeks. I guess my butt is technically too big. Uh, it's not super noticeable. It's not, um, doesn't look unnatural, but it's just kind of funny if you're really looking at it. I had a similar issue with my silk because there was shading around the chest and it didn't really look very natural because my chest was bigger than the spandex and this one doesn't seem to have any issues. As you can see, the gloves seem to um, fit seamlessly once you put them on. There's not any kind of awkward lines. It looks like the suit could be all together. And the boots even look fairly natural. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with these yet. I might cut them to be like a giant boot cover type thing and then wear flashes underneath. I might wear combat boots with these. Uh, some people will put like an, uh, an extra piece in the bottom, like basically like a sole of a shoe. I know a lot of people do that with the spider suits. Um, I'm always paranoid about that. I always feel like they're gonna fall off, so I hate to do that. One time I attached like a, a bottom of a flat to a suit and it was a little weird at times so i haven't really decided what to do with these i'm going to wear this to uh rally supercon next weekend i'm really looking forward to that overall um really happy with how this cosplay came out um if you guys have any questions please let me know and if you want to see my other heroes time suits and maybe another video let me know i haven't done any videos with them but if you want to see me try them on and kind of give a quick little review, especially because some of them are their older cosplays and they have been updated, but some of them haven't. If you guys want to see, see something like that, let me know. And um, yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the next video.